I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times-Picayune. I'm with columnist Ryan Higgins, and we just watched LSU uh, put away uh, a, a little bit of a scrappy uh, uh, Louisiana Monroe team. Uh, they weren't too much offensively, but they gave LSU some trouble defensively. Uh, LSU struggled to, a, uh, in, in the first half, they struggled to score. They, they piled up uh, two, enough yardage, 200 yards, but couldn't get it in the end zone. It was 10-0 uh, at halftime. LSU came out uh, no-nonsense in the second half, just ran the ball, bam, bam, bam. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. Looks like a team trying to get ready for SEC play. Absolutely. They need to get ready for SEC play because uh, Mississippi State comes to town next week. The the best team they've had uh, under Dan Mullen put away South Alabama today. Dak Prescott's playing the best ball of his career, quarterback from Hot, Louisiana. And uh, LSU needs to be on their P's and Q's. Uh, defensively, they have been. I thought defensively tonight, uh, you know, Louisiana Monroe, I mean, they, they couldn't have found the end zone with a search party. There, were, <laughs> there was no way it was going to happen. It just really, I mean, even at 10 nothing at halftime, you never got the feeling that this game was ever really in doubt because this, um, that they were a team that just not couldn't, couldn't move. Uh, I thought LSU's defense, especially the secondary, but again, was just superb. Uh, as you mentioned, offensively, uh, they gave some, uh, some LSU offensive players said after the game that they were, uh, Monroe gave some looks that they hadn't seen before, took some gambles. And uh, you could tell, I mean, Anthony Jennings held the ball way too long, like the Anthony Jennings in the bowl game last right. year. And uh, and it just just really looked uncomfortable. Uh, the second half, like you said, went back to the running game. And I'm, I'm really liking this uh, four running back rotation they have when these also when they get Hilliard in the game. And, uh, and uh, the, 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 Darryl, uh, the freshman kid, Daryl, uh, Williams. 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 Darryl Williams. Darryl Williams. Sorry, Darryl. Um, you only scored two touchdowns tonight. I forgot your name. But they get both those guys in the game, and uh, the amount of carries is split up evenly. It's, it's amazing, and it's a really nice running game. Yeah, the, um, this, the passing game had a little bit of protection problems. You're right. Uh, uh, Jennings held the ball too long, and... Uh, he seemed he didn't seem to be himself like he was like he had been before, um, but defensively they they looked like uh, uh, I mean that was not that bad an offensive uh, uh, ULM team not that bad they they had a, an experienced quarterback and he looked shook all night long so if LSU can do that uh, uh, if they can play continue to play that well defensively they're going to be in every game they're just going to have to find a way to get the ball to their receivers they've got some good. Uh, they've got some good wide receivers, but uh, uh, Anthony Jennings is, um, um, you know, took a little bit of a step back this week. Yeah, I, I think so. He likes it. Looked very uncomfortable, and uh, I think at, at halftime, probably the LSU coaches said, "Let's reel this in. We're going to, you know, we're, we can run on them. Let's just run on them. You know, let's run. We don't have to really throw the ball. We don't need to." And they really didn't need to. Just didn't need to at all. And and so you take it, you put it in the bag, and you move on. And now it's, t it's uh, now time to get real. All the exhibitions are over, except for New Mexico State in a couple of weeks, but they're basically over. It's time to go play. Yeah. And Mississippi State next week. Uh, we'll be back here next week to tell you about it. Uh, follow us all week on NOLA.com. For Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Klein-Peter, and we'll see you on NOLA.com.